Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have. Hey yo, man, we got Snoop with a strong message for all them real ninjas out there, man. All right, we got Young Thug taking care of the folks in Ukraine, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, not the way you think, but in a way you, you, that you wasn't really anticipating. You know what I'm saying? We got Kodak Black on taking showers at Cardi B. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. Hey yo, that notification bell's waiting for you to tap. It's going to give it a tap, and that subscribe button's waiting for you to subscribe. So go on and hit that subscribe button, man. You know what I'm saying? We all got all day. And we trying to hit that 300k. You follow what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get right back to it, man. Look, 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 look. We 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 back here again. All right? Another person has come out on TikTok to tell you that she only showers once a week. Hey, yo, take a listen. Yes, I did say once a week. I live out in nature with my dogs alone most of the time. They don't care how I smell. My remote coworkers through the screen don't care how I smell. I guess I'm just a dirty girl, but I will say my skin has been way healthier. My hair has been a lot less brittle and healthier and whatever, I'm happy. Shower, don't shower, live your life, people. Absolute insanity, man. Now, just in case that didn't play right, Shorty said, quote, yes, I did say once a week. <laughs> I'm only like, yeah, cause we was hoping you didn't say that, sis. She said, I live out in nature with my dogs alone most of the time well i feel like she sleeps with them too you know what i'm saying like in her bed Do dogs lick their own balls balls are biological licking them ain't they, they love the smell of doodle and they will eat their own vomit dogs are disgusting so the dog probably licks her in the mouth i'm almost positive of that okay that ish is flabbergastingly disgusting right but th th then technically right you, you probably let your family member lick you in the mouth too. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, that's disgusting. But a dog ain't. Uh, look, does it sound mentally stable in the slightest? What she's saying? She said, quote, the, the dogs, they don't care how I smell. I, I bet they don't. They, don't they love the smell of doodle? -doo? I just said that, right? My remote coworkers through the screen don't care how I smell. I guess I'm just a dirty girl. Close quote. She almost said it with pride. We are, I'm over here like no crap, sis. You don't say. She added, um, but I will say, my skin has been way healthier. I don't believe you. My hair has been a lot less brittle. It probably smells. And healthier. And uh, whatever. I'm happy. Yeah, we know. Shower, don't shower. Live your life, people. Close quote. But people live around other people. Look, look, listen. No man is an island, all right? C.S. Lewis, the great philosopher, said, we are all like a fleet of ships going in the same direction. If one ship goes rogue, I'm paraphrasing here, if one ship goes rogue, it most likely will disrupt the other ships that are going in the same direction. Are you getting my drift, man? Look, li listen, listen. <laughs> if one ship is like, I'm gonna set my joint ablaze, cause I'm my own ship, that can sink the other ships. You think you're an island, but you're not, okay? Get your shit in order. I right? take a bath every day. It's sad I even got to say this. You know what I'm saying? L listen, your aim should be at least once a day. I if I missed a day, I'm wildin'. You know what I mean? You should be able to spread your cheeks and no smell come out. I know some people are like, oh, he's asking for the impossible now. It's possible. It's possible. Okay? Listen, <laughs> my bad. Cardi B heard of this woman's antics and posted, quote, besides the smell, like, itch would it be. Don't you itch? Close quote. Word, right? People are so nasty. That's why I don't believe in getting as much buns from as many people as you can. Because ninjas out here are dirty. And if I if I ain't going to stick my arm in the sewer, I certainly ain't putting my penis in one. <laughs> some of y'all like, yo, F, yo, <laughs> some of y'all on some F the world sticking your penis in the dirt. You know what I'm saying? My, my bad. I, I don't want to be crass, but I feel like some practices need to be shamed into obscurity or non-existence. You see what I'm saying? In comes Kodak Black. All right? This man has something to say on the topic. you like, this can't be good. Well, take us in the Kodak Black. You know we don't know what that man said. <laughs> oh, yes. That's right. I forgot. Look, look. I, I couldn't quite get everything he said this time. Okay? My, my yak leader was acting up. All right? But I could I, I mean, I could have sworn he said something about am, Amberful. Okay? Whatever. He said, quote, Ninjas, ninjas, we can rock. We ain't got to hop in the sprayer every day for real. He meant to shower. But women, y'all got to hop in that itch every day. 
soon after we, you know, have sex, right? All kinds of ish and before. Close quote. Scary world we live in, ain't it? <laughs> look, 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 look. Yak said, Yak said, like, we don't have to shower every day. I don't buy that, okay? We got to shower every day. Yak, don't even suggest going more than one day because people tend to prefer the path of least resistance. You get my drift, man. Now, um, check this out, man. You know, uh, we don't just like to give you hip hop news. We like to kind of be as, as rounded as we can possibly be. All right. And so this is this leads us into what's going on in your world because it might affect you. You know what I'm saying? If they if they if they launch off nukes and you start turning into pizza, you're going to wish you knew what the hell was going on. All right. When it comes to what's going on between Ukraine and Russia. First, let me throw this disclaimer out here real quick. Okay? I don't know 100 percent about geopolitics, but let me also add that I taught geopolitics in America's public school system, all right? That's number one. B, you do not 100% know English. Look, I can guarantee, right, that you did not score a 100% in English year after year, okay? Am I lying? Post your English grades in the comments below. J just to reiterate my point, right? On geopolitics, I will only be corrected by Barack Obama himself. So, Mr. President, because I know you listening, you might as well hit me up in the comments. Don't be afraid to hit your boy up in the comment section if I screw this up. First off, all right? We already done told you Earth is the ghetto of the galaxy, all right? It's only right to acknowledge that in a ghetto, you need both friends and protection. And if you get both at the same time, that's a win, all right? Oftentimes, friends and protection could look like a gang. In the suburbs, they call them boards, clubs, and committees and police departments, okay? But I know a gang when I see one. NATO. You like Nate Dog? I said NATO, a gang of countries. You, you want to get with NATO? You got to meet their requirements, okay? You got to get jumped in, right? Democracy, you got to be about that life, tolerating diversity. You like tolerating? Yes, they don't love diversity, but they tolerate it, okay? You got to be moving towards a market economy. You're like, what? The? I failed economics. Look, think limited restriction on suppliers and consumers, okay? Their military forces must be in firm civilian control and they must be good neighbors and respect sovereignty or independence outside of their own borders, all right? And if you're trying to get down with the NATO gang, you can't be in the middle of beef because your beef becomes their beef, okay? The Ukraine has been trying to put that NATO do-rag on for a minute now, all right? But NATO wasn't having it. Now, OG Russia is on some bullyish, trying to muscle Ukraine, talking about, oh, yo, we taking all of this, all right? All this block you got is our spot now, okay? Here's the thing. The United States, straight gangsters, all right? I'm talking school shootings, insurrections against ourselves, fueled by our president, okay? Look, look at all the cult members getting ready to hit the comment section up. Look, listen, America is so gangster, right? And, and when I say gangster, I'm not, I'm not saying great. I'm saying gangster. I'm talking thugs over here. We came over here, okay? Killed our neighbors. And when our parents, Britain, were like, yo, you wildin', we killed them too. The world wars, we went overseas, jacked Germany, and incinerated two cities, okay? For scuffing up our kicks. Fast forward to now. The Ukraine ain't in the NATO gang, right? But they've been trying to get jumped in for a minute. The United States heard that Ukraine had beef with Russia. And you know, we wasn't in love with them to begin with. But we got hyped because we love beef. We ran down to the basement, skipping steps in excitement because we love us some beef, right? Pulled out all kinds of legendary loot, shiny weapons, crazy weapons to help Ukraine. Russia is now looking crazy. They come, they come in to fight with old busted 22s and AKs from 1947 with dust on them joints. Putin underestimated the Ukraine and has found out he ain't as hot as he thought he was. His kids are wilding in the streets, okay? The Russian military is like, yo, we don't even know who to fight because they look like us. The Ukraine president at this point is a legend. You, you follow what I'm saying? He is not cowering in a bunker like what's his name during the insurrection. This man is in the streets with his administration in military garb. It's like, it's like 300, but better. Zelensky is larger than life at this point. And apparently... The Ukraine got hand something serious. Look, you have the ghost of Kiev in the skies taking down Russian jets. An Air Force pilot who yesterday, uh, what is it, the day before yesterday, he downed six Russian planes and then possibly another five. The ghost of Kiev in the sky and the Ukrainian reaper on the ground. A Ukrainian soldier who made 20 kills in the span of just two days. Yeah, you thought you, thought you was hot, right? 
Look, the tank rode over the old man in the car. The old man got out and brushed his shoulders off, okay? These cats is built different, man. The Kremlin tried to say they took the capital. Zelensky posted a vid like, yo, what you talking about? We outside. We here. We here, right? I said, look, I saw a video with the Ukrainian dude removing a landmine off the road with his bare hands and a Lucy in his mouth. Hey, yo, Sauce, we got that clip on deck real quick. <laughs> With his bare hands, okay? Look, we, we done told you. These cats is built different. All the surrounding countries done told Russia. Russia, cut through our airspace, and it's on. Translation, stay the cuff out my backyard. It ain't looking good, right? Now, now, what really would be nice is if all the other countries would rally up for black countries that get into, into beef. You follow what I'm saying? But that's a convo for a different time. <laughs> You're like, yo, what's this got to do with me again? <laughs> Look, listen. What's the penis on Big Sean's Insta story got to do with you? You tuned in for that, didn't you? Look, Putin is talking about nuclear deterrent type talk. You know what I'm saying? So you can very well be affected. I I'm talking like you could turn into pizza. L Let us get into nuclear war. Your skin start turning into, into you know what I'm saying, pepperoni and whatnot from the radioactive poison. Then you'll be interested in the whole thing. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't mention to you that all over social media there's a video of reports that Africans are being prohibited from fleeing Ukraine and they have to wait for the Ukrainians to get first dibs when it comes to fleeing neighboring countries, fleeing to neighboring countries, all right? Famed attorney Ben Crump posted, he said, quote, many African students travel to Ukraine for uh, affordable education. Now they're being told to save themselves. Heartbreaking, close quote. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, um, come on, man, I'm in the middle of this. Meanwhile, Young Thug posted, quote, he said, if some of my rap brothers are in, I'm willing to help Africans get out of Ukraine. However, I can sense they're not letting us pass. Whoever holds the info for these movements, please contact me ASAP. I'm ready. Hey, yo, that's what's up right there, man. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. These cats, l listen, man. All you, all, all these rap cats that boast all this money and showing off all these jewelries, man. Ju all these jewelries. Y'all front like y'all got paper. Now Young Thug is calling you on deck. What you gonna do? Let me do my shout outs real quick. Cause I'm at the tail end of my joint. Uh, do I have shout outs today? Do I have shout outs today? I think I got a shout out. Um, shout out to, gosh. Shout out to Darshana Butler. Okay. Um, She said, she said, hold, hold off Danny, Danny Lee. I'm trying to focus. Hold off, Danny Lee. I can't focus. Next story. I mean, next next shout out. Um, that's the only shout out I had. Check, yo, check this out, man. Check this out. And finally, you like really? Did you just? I just couldn't. I couldn't. You you take a pitch like that. You don't want me to read your comment. Uh, and finally, Snoop Snoop Dogg has sent out a strong message. Dare I say, last message to all you real ninjas out there? Because apparently. Folks be needing some guidance in these here streets then, okay? Snoop posted, he said this, this is priceless. He said, you become a dumb nigga when you risk losing your family and your freedom to prove to a dumb nigga that you a real nigga, close quote. Yo, what truer words have you heard today? You ain't heard truer words than that. Let everyone under the sound of my voice take that wisdom in and let it sink deep into your heart, the place which governs your actions. Apparently, dumb folks abound. And they are all trying to prove or have proven to them who else is just as dumb. Listen, don't fall for the okie doke. You follow what I'm saying, man? Because folks don't want to see you. They don't want to see you up. They want to see you down. You know what I mean? Oh, they got my peoples over there. Yo, hey, yo, this is my peoples over here. Come on over here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. <laughs> you like, we tuned in for geopolitics today. Yes. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source. Celeb News.